Trigeminal neuralgia is actually a clinical diagnosis. You can't make the diagnosis with a blood test or MRI or a CAT scan. It's a condition where patients present with a very characteristic pain. They, it's either sharp or stabbing or electrical. Patients say sometimes like an electrical zap. And when you look at the trigeminal nerve, oftentimes there's an artery that's sitting on top of the nerve that's pulsating or rubbing on the nerve. And if you think of a nerve like a wire as it pulses, it's literally rubbing away the insulation, which they call myelin. And if you can imagine rubbing away that insulation, when the bare nerves touch, it's, it's essentially causing a short circuiting. And that manifests as that sharp stabbing pain. And it's usually in the front of the face, on the top third, middle third, or lower third, or a combination of. And they tell me that eating, drinking, or cold wind, for example, they can't go outside on a winter day without getting the pain. Most people do well with medications, medicines such as Tegretol or Gabapentin. But over time, some of the patients develop uh, resistance or they become more tolerant to those medications or they develop side effects as they need to go up. And when medications fail the patient, there are some good surgical options. One option is to do something called a rhizotomy. It's a small procedure where we essentially take a needle and put it right here in the cheek and we thread the needle up into the bottom of the skull, right where the trigeminal nerve comes out, and then we burn the nerve, either with a chemical called glycerin, or with heat, or both. And a lot of people come out with pain relief and can come off the medications. There's no sutures involved, patients go home the same day, and they may need to have this procedure done, and it can be done multiple times. Microvascular decompression is a small surgery that we do. It's done right here behind the ear, and you make a small opening about the size of a dime or a nickel in the skull. It's a very tiny opening. And then you bring in a microscope, and you can actually look at the nerve, and you can separate the nerve from the artery, and you can either put a cushion there, or you can transpose it. You just push the artery away from the nerve, and you close. And we put a little bone cement made of calcium, it's the same stuff your own bone is made with and make and close. It's about an hour and a half surgery. At the completion of the surgery, most patients do well. About 80% of the patients can actually be cured. They have no more pain, they're off their medicines. It's one of my favorite things to be able to tell a patient because it's not often that we get to say you're potentially cured. <laughs>